students, this is Mrs. Shay Meverib and today's lesson about fractions of an amount. First, let's revise some important rules before you watch any video. You have to sit in a quiet place and you should have your pen and a piece of paper to take notes and to solve the questions. You should pause the video after each question then you try to answer on your own. Then, you play the video to check your answer and to understand the question in case you get a wrong answer. Are you ready now? Let's start. Fractions of an amount. Look at this question. 2 sevenths or 2 over 7 of 520 pounds. So this is a fraction and this is the amount. So, fractions of an amount, it means part of an amount. So, we need to know how much exactly 2 sevenths of 520 pounds. In order to understand the fractions of an amount, I want you to identify the fraction. This is the fraction part and this is the amount part. So, fraction means part and amount, the part of an amount, okay? Let's see. Unit fractions of an amount. What the meaning of the word unit fraction? A unit fraction means one part. So one over two means only one half. One over three, one third. So only one part out of three parts. One part out of six parts. One six or one over six. One eighth. So this is the meaning of unit fraction, which is one part. So let's see the meaning as an operation of a unit fraction. If I asked you to give me half of your sandwich, for example. So first you have to divide your sandwich into two equal parts. To be able to give me half. So we can say that half or 1 over 2 means 1 divided by 2 or we divide the amount we have by 2. So when I have half of any amount it means divide this amount by 2 and this is the meaning of halving. Okay? So now let's see an example half of 500. We said half means divide by 2. So I will divide this amount of money by 2. Half of 500 is, yes, 250 pounds. Okay, is it clear? Now let's talk about one third. If I asked you to give me third of your pizza, it means you should divide your pizza into three equal parts first then you give me one part so the meaning of one third is division by three you are going to divide your amount by three first before you do anything so for example if i said one third of 240 kilograms it means i'm going to divide the amount of kilograms by three so 240 divided by 3. 24 divided by 3 equals 8. So 240 divided by 3 equals, yes, 80 kilograms. So one third of 240 kilograms equals 80 kilograms. What about one th six? It's exactly the same. It means division by, what do you think? Division by 6. So now we are going to divide by 6. 1 6 of $42. So we are going to divide the 42, which is the amount, by the 6, which is the number in the denominator. 12, 42 divided by 6 equals $7. So 1 6 of $42 equals $7. Now, one eighth, so one eighth means division by eight. For example, one eighth of 72 meters. 
It means I'm going to divide the 72 meters by 8. So 72 divided by 8 equals 9 meters, which means 1 8 of 72 meters equals 9 meters. Do you understand now how do we calculate the unit fractions of an amount by using division? Let's see what next. What if I have a fraction that is not a unit fraction? For example, 2 over 3, which means 2 thirds. So, let's read here. Divide the amount by the denominator. The unit fraction of this fraction is 1 over 3, right? So in order to get 2 thirds, you need to know how much exactly is 1 third of the amount. So first, you have to define the 1 third, which means you have to divide the amount by 3, right? What next? Next, you multiply the answer by the numerator or the number of parts. Why? Because I have two thirds, not only one. So after we calculate one third, in order to calculate two thirds, I can add the one third twice or I can multiply it by two. So I will multiply by two. So we can say that. When we have a fraction that is not a unit fraction, step number one, we divide the amount by the denominator, then we multiply the answer by the numerator. Is this clear? Let's see by example. Two-thirds of 270 pounds. We said first we have to find the one part, which is one-third by... Dividing the amount to buy the denominator, which is 3, 270 divided by 3. 27 divided by 3 equals 9. So 270 divided by 3 equals 90. Okay, 270 divided by 3 equals Right. Now, what we should do next? We should multiply the 90 by 2, which is the number up by the numerator. 90 times 2 equals 2 times 9 equals 18. So, 90 times 2 equals 180 pounds. Is this clear? Let's see next example. Three quarters. If my fraction of an amount is three quarters, what we should do? First step, we divide. Second step, we multiply. So first, we are going to divide the amount by the denominator, which is four. Divide by the four. Then, we are going to multiply by the number up, which is the numerator, which is three. Then, we multiply by 3. Let's see the example. 3 quarters of 320 kilograms. So first I'm going to divide the amount 320 by the denominator which is 4. 320 divided by 4. 32 divided by 4 equals 8. So 320 divided by 4 will be 80. This is the first step. And then I'm going to multiply this 80 by the number of quarters or the number in the numerator, which is 3. So 80 times 3, 8 times 3 equals 24. So 80 times 3 equals 240 kilograms. So, 3 quarters of 320 kilograms equals 240 kilograms. Is this clear? Do you understand how to get fraction of an amount when the fraction is not a unit fraction? Let's see the next example. 5 over 6, 
what did we say? We divide the amount by the denominator. So we are going to divide by 6. Then we multiply the answer by the numerator, which is 5. Then we are going to multiply by 5. Look at this example and try to do it by your own, following same steps. First step, I'm going to divide the amount by the denominator. 420 divided by 6. 42 divided by 6 is 7. So 420 divided by 6 equals 70. Then, second step, I'm going to multiply the 70 by the numerator, which is 5. So 70 times 5, 7 times 5 equals 35. So 70 times 5 will be $350. Is this clear? One more example about the 7 eighths. Exactly the same. First step, we divide by the number down or the denominator. Then we multiply by the number up, which is the numerator. So, 7 eighths of 48 meters. First, going to divide the 48 by 8. 48 divided by 8 equals 6. Then I'm going to multiply the 6 by 7. 6 times 7 is 42 meters. So 7 eighths of 48 meters equals 42 meters. I hope you understand the fractions of an amount. Now it's questions time. Are you ready? Let's go. Two-sevenths of 49. Do you remember the steps? We do two steps. Divide, then multiply. So divide the 49 by 7 equals 7. Then multiply the 7 by 2 equals 14. Second example. 4 over 9 of 54 meters. Exactly. Same steps. I'm going to divide the amount by 9. Then I'm going to multiply by the numerator or by number up. 54 divided by 9 equals 6. Then this 6 will be multiplied by 4, which is number up. So 6 times 4 equals 24 meters. So, 4 over 9 of 54 meters equals 24 meters. Is this clear? And now, let's see the next question. Sammy has 48 emoji stickers. He gave his sister one third of his stickers. He gave his brother one sixth of his stickers and he gave his friend 10 stickers. Let's see the first question. How many stickers did he give to his sister? Here let's read from the beginning and understand each sentence. Sammy has 48 emoji stickers. So this is the number of stickers he has. He gave his sister one third of his stickers, which means one third of the 48 stickers, because his stickers are 48. So first of all, how to calculate one third of 48? One third of 48 means we are going to divide the 48 by 3. So 48 divided by 3 equals, what do you think? Yes, it's 16. So he gave his sister 16 stickers, right? 
Now, let's see next the question. How many stickers did he give to his brother? He gave his brother one-sixth of his sticker, which means one-sixth of the 48. So how to calculate one-sixth of 48? The 48 divided by 6. 48 divided by 6 equals 8. So he gave his brother 8 stickers. Let's see next the question. How many stickers are left with him? Let's read. He gave his sister 16 stickers. All right. And he gave his brother 8 stickers. What about his friend? Don't forget his friend here. He gave his friend 10 stickers. So, in total, let's add the three numbers. 16 plus 8 equals 24. 24 plus 10 equals 34. So, he gave his sister and his brother and his friend 34 stickers. In order to calculate how many stickers are left with him, we are going to subtract the 34 stickers from the 48 stickers. So 48 minus 34 equals 14 stickers. So 14 stickers are left with him. Now let's see next question. Write the number of his friend's stickers as a fraction. So he gave his friend 10 stickers. Out of how many stickers in total? 48. So our fraction will be 10 over 48 stickers in total. You can also put this fraction in the simplest form. We can divide up and down. You can leave your answer as it is, 10 over 48, or you can put it in the simplest form. I will divide up and down by 2. So 10 divided by 2 equals 5. And 48 divided by 2 equals 24. So this is, will be the answer of our last question. This is the end of our lesson today. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any question, please feel free to leave a comment and I will answer you as soon as possible. See you next video and please remember that your feedback is highly appreciated. Thank you very much and see you soon.